this is a solid sphere there is a the sphere is kept on a horizontal rough surface rough surface on top of the sphere there is a a plank uniform plank there is a plank of mass m1 the mass of this plank is m1 the mass of this sphere is m2 and the radius of this sphere is r this sphere is doing pure rolling that means nowhere there is slipping there is no slipping between the sphere and the ground there is no slipping between the plank and the sphere this is a very good iit problem a student of mine he got 214 rank in iit and he couldn't solve this problem because he had that uh, little phobia of rotation as a topic and therefore i i when a child solves this problem i feel really good about it let me see how many of you will be able to solve it please tell me what is the friction force here there will be what kind of friction force will be acting tell me between the at the contact points sir uh, no places very contact what kind of friction force will be acting static and rolling friction static and rolling both because there is no slipping rolling is negligible tending to zero so let's find out let's find out the static friction force that will be acting here do i need to worry about direction or assume any direction so i am assuming that the friction force acting on the sphere is towards left at the bottom here f1 and the equal and opposite force is exerted by the sphere on the ground which is also f1 find the value of f1 and let the please assume the same direction because i want the final answers accordingly uh, and i want to verify that so friction force here at this point of contact let me assume the friction force is acting on the plank in left direction as f2 and the friction force is acting on the sphere towards the right it is at the point of contact i am just for the sake of clarity drawing them a little away from the point of contact find the value of f1 and f2 m1 m2 r and f0 these are the four given quantities please see this sir f2 sir f2 jo aage lag raha hai wo kiske upar lag raha hai sir तो वो डिस्क के ऊपर नहीं बेटा at any contact point the force f0 is pulling the plank find the force f1 and f2 let me see who will solve it complicated nahi hai all you have to do is write the equations properly that the answer ajeeb hai sir mera f bahut lamba hai nahi mera f2 aaya hai 7 m2 f0 upon 20 m1 plus 7 m2 which is correct sir ha ha what he got answer kaisa bhi aaye but pro chess paanch equation lagi unko solve karte karte hal kar ho jati hai nahi itni acha i just want to show you some graphics just have a look at them and let's see one minute when a body is doing pure rolling suppose a cycle tire is doing pure rolling what kind of a motion a particular point could be listen to this yes, what kind of a motion a particular point is undergoing have a look at these visuals and we'll discuss yes please have a look at these visuals can you see distance distance number 8 r hota hai very good बट डू यू नो वॉट इज दिस ट्रेजेक्ट्री कॉल्ड द ट्रेजेक्ट्री प्लॉटेड बाय द पॉइंट ऑफ द रिंग इट इज कॉल्ड अ साइक्लॉइड एंड एंड कैन यू कैन यू टेल मी द रेडियस ऑफ कर्वेचर ऑफ दिस पार्टिकल वेन एट द बिगनिंग ऑफ द मोशन वेन द मोशन बिगेन फोर आर radius of curvature is not 2 r 4 r we have done this question in erodol yes sir 4 r is for right yes but ab ye by heart karne se nahi chalega you should be knowing the method also 4 r is ha sir aata hai aata hai okay theek hai so let me show you another visual also good visual just see this when a bicycle is moving how every point of the bicycle what is the velocity of the lowest point of the tire and the velocity of center of mass is v and if it is doing pure rolling the topmost point is having a velocity right and the path tra traced by one particular point is again a cycloid you can see that have a look at another visual you know i want to combine these kind of uh, animation videos also in our lecture and make you things very clear i'll be planning my lectures in advance aage se and that is the key reason that i am wanting to use all the things that technology is offering are you getting little thoda sa samajh mein aa raha hai main kyun insist kar raha hu abhi dekhte rahiye third 
एक और विजुअल वो एंगुलर मोमेंट का कलर ओके लेट्स स्टार्ट विथ द सोल्यूशन टू दिस प्रॉब्लम ऑल ऑफ यू प्लीज बी अटेंड नाउ लेट मी राइट डाउन द इक्वेशन Let me assume that the actual condition. Yes, please see the solution to this problem now, and I want full concentration. This sphere is going to have a translational motion, and I am assuming the acceleration of the center of mass to be ACM, and there will be some rotational motion also. Let the angular acceleration be alpha C. Please pay attention. I have assumed these two. I will make a free body diagram of the plank, and I will realize that the only two forces acting on the plank are this. And this friction. And if I write, and there is another force also. There are two more forces acting on this plank. Can anyone tell me what are those two forces? Normal reaction. Normal reaction in M. But are we studying the vertical motion of the plank? No, right now. Okay. What will be the equation for the horizontal motion? Let me assume the acceleration of the plank is say a one. So what is the equation for the horizontal motion? Net force F naught minus F two is equal to mass. Into acceleration a one. Have you understood this equation? By F naught, this force minus the opposing force, which is F two, for the plank is equal to mass into acceleration. Can you see this equation? Yes. Sir. Yes. Next, translational motion of the sphere. On the sphere, what are the forces acting on the sphere horizontally? F one and F two. Yes, both are acting towards right. So F two plus F one. Is equal to what? M two A two. M two A. So minus over. So minus over. So F two minus F one. Two three sides. Oh yes, we have assumed this force to be towards left. I agree. So on the sphere, I intentionally did this mistake. You know that nature of time. No, sir, then you won't have said oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes, oh, yes. Yeah. sir. That was also again to fool you people. Okay. Anyway, F two minus F one is equal to mass M two. Into ACM, right? I have assumed right direction to be positive. And now, net torque about the center of mass. Please tell me what are the forces acting on the sphere? I am again going to mark this force also, mg. So this is only the center of mass. Sir, these minus F one. Sir, these minus F one. Please tell me, N one and N one and N two are passing from the and mg. These three are passing through the center of mass. So the net torque is zero. So the torque is non-zero. Sir, will F one come out to be negative? Yes. 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 Please remember this now. So the net torque about center of mass due to all the forces acting on the sphere, due to this, due to this, due to this, it will come out to be zero because they are passing through the center. The net torque due to F two and F one, F two की वजह से it will be rotating in clockwise direction. The tendency is to rotate in clockwise direction. F two into R is the clockwise torque. Clockwise, I am assuming positive. So this torque plus torque due to F one is it clockwise or anti-clockwise? Tell me fast about the center of mass. Clockwise. Clockwise. Right. So it will be F one into R. So both are added. This is also positive. Net torque is equal to what? I alpha. What is I? About center of mass. Sir, so alpha. We can write ACM in the first. In, yeah, ACM by R. No. Into alpha. I will not write alpha as anything. We will come to that equation. There is a reason behind that. Now, I have got how many equations? Yes, I have got three equations. I have got how many unknowns? Four, five, 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 five. Five, five, yes. Five, one, two, three. Yes, we have got five unknowns. I need two more equations. I need to actually, if we see, we have got seven unknowns. N one and N two also. Sir, N one and N two we don't. Yes. Different thing is, but we should know. That these are but also so the but forces. Sir, but उसके भी दो equations आए जाएंगे। उसके भी दो आए जाएंगे। Vertical motion, but we don't need them, right? I agree. They gave us two more equations and two more unknowns, so we don't need to write vertical, and they are so not related to the horizontal. We get the two equations yes. from the point of contact of the. Uh, exactly. So now let's come to the point of contact for the story, and I want everyone's attention there, and please pay attention. Let me call this point as one on the plank, and this point as two. On the sphere, and they are in contact. Point one will have an acceleration. How much? Can anyone tell me? Two acm. No, it will have a one. That's it. Point it's one. <laughs> yes, point one's acceleration will be a one because it is on the plank one. 
So A1 is the acceleration of point 1, I can surely say. Now, since there is no slipping between 1 and 2, the acceleration of point 1 and 2 has to be equal. So acceleration of point 2 can be found by superimposition theorem that you have learned. Please tell me what is the acceleration of point 2 along the tangential direction. In this direction, acceleration of point 2 is due to translation is ACM. Yes or no? And due to rotation, it is how much? R alpha. Perfect. And therefore, the total acceleration will be ACM plus R alpha. Correct. Yes. So, therefore, this is the equation at the point of contact where point 1 and point 2 are in contact. Now, there is one more equation. The contact is there on the ground also. On the ground, if you observe carefully, you can see point, one, uh, point 3 is of the sphere and point 4 is of the ground. Can anyone tell me what is the acceleration of point 4? It is on the ground. This should be also equal to the acceleration of point 3 because there is no slipping between them in horizontal direction. And A3 can be found by superimposition. Translation it will be ACM. Yes. Minus R alpha. Due to rotation it will be? Minus R alpha. R alpha in this direction. So the net acceleration will be ACM minus R alpha C. And that should be equal to 0. This is the fifth equation. Now we have got 5 equations and 5 unknowns and we can solve them. Have you understood this? Sorry. The concept is clear. Now let me give you some questions and let me see how fast you solve them. Just write the equations and tell me these are the equations I have written. Okay? Ready? This जो मैंने बोर्ड पे इक्वेशंस लिखी हैं, इनमें कोई गलती नहीं है, सुनिएगा। आप 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 ने आप इन्हें सॉल्व करिए और जो टीचर्स क्लास में बैठे हुए हैं, आफ्टर द क्लास इज़ ओवर, उनसे वेरीफाई करिए, आंसर्स मैच होंगे। and we, let's utilize the time of the class effectively. Let me not be solving the question on the board, doing a trivial thing and you wasting your time. Let's move on. Learn the concept.